Hello and welcome back to Mars. We are a spitting distance from having liquid water start to form on the planet. 6% more. And then the rain and water will start filling up all the crevices and chasms into ponds, lakes, and oceans. One thing that I wanted to test out today was this big son of a gun. A giant launching platform. That looks like a decent spot for it. Bah! Yep, that's... <laughs> that's something. And then we gotta see what this does. Apparently we can shoot rocks into space and it helps with the terraformation process. Ah, see? A rocket engine with microchips of compasses. And I already have a rocket engine ready to go. I just need a little bit more cobalt and a super alloy. I also have a microchip to turn in real quick. Let's see what it's gonna unlock for us. A fence! Well, that way I can keep in my emotions. All right, here's a little bit of cobalt. A little bit more cobalt. One after the other. One rock, two rock, three rock more. But what I really need is super alloys, which are found in this little cavernous region. <gasps> okay, we're good. Go right in here and then scoop up these little goobers on the ground. And can we make this jump too? Okay, yep, we can. And another jump. Lovely. A lovely javely curries. Alright, I feel like that should probably do it. And that means it's time to shoot my first rocket into space. Eventually, I guess we're supposed to link up with a mothership. But I don't think they're ready for me yet. I haven't done my job here as a prisoner. Not quite yet. I had a, a spare rocket lying around, as everybody does. So we can just grab that and go right up here. Maybe I could just jump right on the tip of the rocket and just go with it. Why not, right? Oh my sweet baby Jesus. Okay. How do I... Oh, it's the big red button. Launch to space. Here we go. See you later. Hope you find your dad. And is that going to, like, blow up? And Because it's supposed to increase heat on the planet by a thousand percent. Okay. Mission success, maybe? Oh, wow. Wait, did I cause that? Oh, whoa. Oh, there it is. Oh, wait. Did I just cause a... Oh, God. I'm going to just cause a meteor shower. Oh, get down. They're trying to hit me. I, didn't, I might have actually caused this. Oh. Uh, what are those dropping, though? I'm curious. Oh, these are these are mega meteors. <gasps> uranium! No shot. Okay, we gotta catch all of these. It did say a uranium storm, didn't it? Okay, well, I get it now. We could use this. Oh my god, this is awesome. Okay, go, 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 go. We need to grab all of these ones. Holy sweet Jesus. They're all blowing up with uranium? Oh my god, those are massive meteors, man. One dropped up there as well. Don't hit my sprinklers, I want my lawn to grow. Look at this, oh my god. Yes, 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 yes. It's like all glowing in there, look at that. Are these gonna be permanent fixtures because of what I did? I hope not, my lawn is <laughs> not looking too great because of that. We just gotta look for the the green glowing rocks and then go scoop all of them out. Wow, that was awesome. What other rockets can we launch into space? I want more of that. That's gonna help us create some more nuclear reactors, get even more power. Because we're gonna need a crap load of power where we're going. And let's go scoop up the rest. I think one hit my platform over here. So there should be some uranium... In here, there we go. Lovely. Yes, 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 yes. That was a very accurate first meteor. Good job, universe. You did it. And like, is this a new rock that like hit? What doesn't it look like it? Like, what is this? I don't remember this being here. Do we mine this or something? Or has this rock always been here? Doesn't it look a little different? So now I'm curious if that's gonna be the way for us to get osmium. Because that is really what I'm waiting for. I'm waiting for that blue, blue good stuff. That Jesse Pinkman special. That's what we need. 
Oh my god, we have too much uranium now. That's insane. Let me go check the other rockets. One of them's gonna do something. Also, I wanna check if heat... Oh yeah, look at our heat consumption now. Liquid water is 100% possible. Lakes is the next step, but look at this. We need to make number go up faster. Okay, excuse me, rocks. I gotta go up here. Thank you. Magnetic field protection rocket attracts iridium asteroids. <gasps> Ooh. So this feels like our current goal is just to launch a bunch of rockets into space. Really give the atmosphere a piece of my business. So it's time for another rocket engine. Isn't it a nice day when you just leave an iridium rod laying around? Oh, I have two of them. Oh, we're launching so many rockets today. Rocket one, rocket two. Oh, yes, sir. Okay, and then it looked like it wanted some silicon. So iridium is the warm stuff. Do I really want to necessarily... I mean, I should do it regardless, because I want that increase in pressure, right? Let's go ahead and throw a magnetic field rocket into the atmosphere as well. Five, four, three, two... Nope, we're not waiting. Here we go. Rocket number two. Go, 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 go. Ooh, 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 ooh. That one... Uh, hello? Guys? Was that supposed to happen? I don't... I don't... I don't... Was that supposed to happen? I don't think... Guys, I don't think that was supposed to happen. That's supposed to go to space. Yeah, turn upwards. Bounce off that rock and go upwards. There we go. Calculate. Oh! Calculated. Okay, we need to eat and drink. That hurt a lot. We're going down. Ugh. There's iridium falling everywhere. Grab it all. Quickly. Uh, uh. Okay. 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 One just hit behind us in the field over there. Okay, one hit up on the rock. We can grab those. Pretty much gonna hit me in the face. There we go. Let's go over to that one. Grab some more iridium. Don't mind if I do. So definitely confirmed. Not a coincidence. The storms are definitely caused by me shooting the rocket. Oh gosh, I'm just quenching my butthole. Quenching my butthole, yes. Clenching. And the thing is, we can make even more iridium rods for even more rockets. So this is like, perfect. This is a lot of iridium. Oh gosh, oh my god, okay. I thought it was another meteor coming in, but no, it was just my mining lasers making a very similar sound. All right, first trip of Iridium. Throw all that in there. Beautiful. Well, this one got in a real precarious spot, but everything rolled down the hill for me. Beautiful. Grab all that. And over here is where the Uranium Meteor came down that I didn't grab on this other side. And... <gasps> Whoa, wait a second. Look. Look, 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 look. Rivers. Ponds. Things are forming. Not quite lakes, but like there's water slowly kind of seeping up from the underground. Pretty soon, like, this guy's not even going to be visible. And here's the rest of that uranium meteor that we didn't grab. And then there was a little bit of iridium down here as well. Ooh. Thank you. Grab all that. And question is, can I just, like, drink this? Probably not a good idea. But I want to make sure I have a map interface, which I literally never made before. So we should probably do one of those. I'm going to set up another cute desk right here in the corner, just for something to work off of. There we go. Slap that there. And then put down our mapping screen. We're about to have a six monitor setup, man. Jeez. No satellite in orbit. Send a mapping rocket to space. Boom. That's what we're about to do. And I think uh, this platform is probably the reason why the rockets aren't shooting up into space properly. Someone should really clear that out. It's not going to be me, though. Oh, okay. Well, this one's in the way. Oh, a little piece of radium up here. Don't mind me. And the thing is, we could just jump right to tier two. I mean, why not? Or just skip tier one, right? Let's go. Oh, okay. Not again. Not again. Uh, hello. 
That that doesn't look like it works, guys. That doesn't that doesn't look like it's working. Maybe it'll bounce properly like last time. And it's starting to rain. Don't tell my boss. Maybe I could go give it a bump. Yeah, go kick it real quick. That'll help, right? This is how Elon launches his rockets, correct? They come back down. Mine just never go up. Mine just always go down. Can I can I take you back? Ugh. Uh, nope, okay. Oh! I created the first teleporting rocket. Hmm, scientific advances. Well, this rain's really coming down, man. We might see a little bit of pondage starting to pop up everywhere now. Well, let's see what that mapping did for us. Ooh, look at that. I can kind of at least see... Like, structures and ponds, and holy crap, this map is massive. We got some lava over here. Ooh, I don't think I've ever been near lava before. But something tells me... I need to go down here. That might have the ore I'm looking for, which is this crazy blue stuff. So let's craft our tier 5 backpack, brand new. Look at all that space, don't mind if I do. Grab a couple of snackies. And make a little bit of water. And then it's time for adventure. Never been to this little chunk of the map. We have some stalagmites coming out of the ground. Ooh. There's like a permanent dust storm over here or something? I've never seen like atmosphere like this outside of a storm. Maybe up and over. Looks like the hill goes up right here. And the stalactite's just getting a little taller. It's like a little secret entrance over here. And now we're in a blue area? I do like blue. Because I'm or I'm looking for is blue. It's making everything blue tone. Even like my my gun is purple colored now. Uh where the hell are we? On the edge whoa, okay. This is... this is new. I see red stuff down there. Alright, I'm going. There we go, jetpack. Break the fall. And we're just all of a sudden on a whole new planet, it looks like. What the hell? And what is this right here? Just a little drinking pond? That's cute. Oh, and more ice. Okay, and what is this? <gasps> oh my god, guys. Osmium and iridium and sulfur. Yep, achievement unlocked. Osmium. I'm grabbing as much of this as I can before. I oh, wait. I'm going to run out of oxygen. I didn't bring a extra shelter with me. All right. Let's do this really quick before the storm comes in and I can't see anything. Living compartment. We need an iron and a titanium stat. Look at that. Iron. Titanium. The storm's, like, entirely different. There's, like, floating stars and stuff over here. This might actually... This might actually flood because of what I'm doing. Um, so we need to mine probably my entire inventory's worth of osmium and then take this stuff back. And it's crazy. There's a whole nother ice block in here. I know where there's so many different ice blocks now. I'm grabbing a little bit of sulfur. I know in the near future we're going to be making blasting powder. Let me go a little deeper into this area and see if there's any other, like, open caves with the, uh, osmium that I'm looking for. But, like, these floating little dots in the sky because of these rocks, is it, like, a rare meteorite? It just looks- oh, ooh, ooh, I see something pink. What is that? What is that? Can I mine you? Pulsar quartz. Uh, quartz containing tremendous amounts of energy. Oh, this looks like I'm in a hole, like I'm in space on this planet. Doesn't it? Look at this little zone. This is, this is amazing. I can't, <laughs> I love this game, man. I'm going to grab some aluminum while I'm here too. It removes all color besides like blues. Like cobalt is the only thing that's colored right now in this whole area. That's crazy. There's a lot of this pulsar stuff. Okay. I'm going to mine all of it that I can. Let's check the chest before I forget where this is. See if there's anything decent in it. Maybe there'll be some osmium. Oh, super alloys. Better plants. I'll take that. 
Tier 1 algae generator unlocked, so we can start putting algae in the water. And I see a nice little chest up there. I see some more pink crystals. But what I need is oxygen. Uh-oh. Uh, where is my fob? Uh-oh. I'm lost. <gasps> no! Please! <gasps> no! Please! I felt like I didn't go far. But like, as soon as you enter this area, it's... It's... It's crazy how quickly you get lost. Nope, this is it right here, I think. Yep, okay. Wonderful. I'd be it'd really stink to get rid of some of that osmium. But we're good, we found it. We're already back. Another chesticle, some more plants, and a few other things. What I'm really, really looking for is some more blueprint parts. I'm gonna grab more of this pulsar quartz until we figure out what it's used for. A chest up here. It's looking good. So I kind of have like a pretty direct route and oh my god. This is already filling up, man. I didn't anticipate this to fill up so quick, but I mean, what do you expect? It's water. It fills up spaces just like cats. Oh, and you can swim. <gasps> oh my god. It's time to go swimming. Tier 2 nuclear reactor. Ooh. If we need some really good power, I might build one of those. We have a lot of uranium now. So with this osmium, we're able to create the bio lab, which allows us to craft bio recipes. Haven't done that before. So I'm going to have to start growing some plants. I or uh, some vegetables, rather. I haven't actually grown a single vegetable this whole time. I've just been surviving off of MREs and ice, which uh, is in my veins. <gasps> oh, a tier two rocket launcher. Yeah, that's happening right now. Thank you. And now how does this one work? Can we actually, oh my God. We can like go up and down with it. So we can kind of like get up. Oh my God, this is gonna make travel. Oh my God, there's a maximum height, but it's still super awesome. Okay, that was worth it. Osmium for the win. And then next is the bio lab. Let's do that. Need three super alloys. How are we doing on the super alloy front? We need to go get a little bit more. But with my newfound power, look, it's like I wanna go up there. Oop, I'm up there. I want to go up there. Please, please don't make me look bad. There you go. See? Look, we can just kind of, like, cascade over the rocks. I wonder if there's any super alloys in this big old ship over here. I'm curious. I haven't actually gone through here yet because I panicked. I have a claustrophobia. And I'm just going to scooch my way in here. What are we looking for? I'm looking for mostly super alloy in here, but also... Uh, probably the magic potion to the existence of the universe as well. That's probably something important to find in here. What are these? I thought they were heads, like from Futurama. No, they're just Lerma seeds. Okay. We can grab those. And then, ooh, an iridium rod. I'll take one of those for free. That's nice. That's nine pieces of uranium. Definitely worth. There's also a lower section to the ship that we need to check it out. It looks like we're getting some... E Ooh, another rocket! And a whole bunch of seeds, and we just found out for our bio lab, we're gonna have to uh, plant a lot more seeds, so... Actually a good thing that we came in here, another microchip, maybe a tier 2 dissembler, perhaps? Pop outside for a quick photosynthesis. <laughs> And we go into the downstairs section, which is the area that spooked me out before. Here we go. Okay. Down the creepy ladder. All I can hear is my heartbeat and my inner thoughts. I don't like this at all. Oh, look, hello? Doesn't it just feel like something's about to pop out and grab my leg? No, just me. I don't like it. I don't like it one bit. Ooh, I like this though. Goody. Okay, see, we might, uh, we might have to come. Oh, we were just talking about this stuff. I didn't know where to find it, and I just did. Another rocket. Don't mind if I do. 
is a golden shower seed. We don't need that right now. I can come back for those goodies, don't you worry, but I saw this way as well. You can see what's going on in here. And it looks like a couple more chesticles. Another blueprint, some iron. Who left that hanging around? I don't know. And then a couple more chests with another iridium rod and a ton of iron. Oh, great. Well, good thing I'm inside the ship during this. Ooh, super allies. That's exactly what I was looking for. Before the ship explodes for the meteor shower. I already grabbed that. All right, let's hit this. And with that super alloy that I just found, we can slap down the bio lab. I don't know what's going to be in here. I'm a little excited to see. Looks like it can connect right there, and we are officially out of power. I thought I had a lot of excess power, but it looks like it might be time for a tier 2 reactor. Nuclear is the way to go. Nuclear is the future. I'm going to hit these blueprints real quick, just in case. Display case. Oh, that's kind of cool. Microchip map. That would be useful. But we might just have to do another nuclear reactor for now. Just a tier one. Which one? Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Uh, one. And uh, another iron. There we go. Super alloy. And then the uranium rod. Oop. And to the ceiling, through the windows, to the walls, I need another piece of ice. Ice, ice, baby. Because it seems like ice is becoming less abundant, maybe with the temperature of the planet increasing? Uh, does it really work like that? That would be pretty crazy if it did. <laughs> and look at our ponds and our, like, kind of first ocean. Coming in, man. It's coming in. We can really go for a dip and swim now. I like that. Here's the uranium I left behind. It's just, you know, you ever just leave your uranium laying around? I do sometimes. <gasps> Give me it. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm not seeing any ice. I think the planet's heating up so much that ice doesn't actually form here anymore. Holy crap, this game's awesome. So I need power, so I can't use that uh, super alloy. Or no, I, I pretty much have to do the water collector. So let's remove this bio lab. Here we go. Scoop that. Just give me that stuff back real quick. That's going to turn our power back on. And then we're going to do an atmospheric water collector instead. Uh, is this going to go on my roof? I guess I can kind of fit on my roof. Yeah, that'd be a cool spot for it. Oop, here we go. Atmospheric water collector. And how does this puppy work? It's just going to slowly collect water from the atmosphere. Yeah, see the dots coming into it already? Is it going to rain too? Is that going to make it collect water quicker? That would be awesome if it started raining. And it looks like it's doing the opposite of raining. It's uh, dirting. I don't like that. All right, well, with what we have right now, like, I'm running low on water. I, I'm i going to have to go loot some water, depending on how slowly this collects it. Is there another way to get water? Can I just stick my mouth over the grass spreader? Just suck it all up? I think I'm going to run really, really deep into this guy. I don't think I've fully done that yet. And I definitely left some water bottles behind in there. I guarantee it. Is that what I think it is right there? How did I just spot that so far away? Is that a gold chest? Oh, baby. What's going to be in this one? Uh, ooh. Oh, look at that. A golden effigy, which is really nice because uh, I did just send that into space. And then this is made out of what again? Aluminum and super alloys. Pog. Another gold chest. I wonder how many of those are on the map. If you know, leave me a comment down below. Well, maybe I'll start hunting most of them out. What's going to be in here? Uh, let's lick it clean. Like, straight up scoop every last material. I'm even taking the boxes with me this time. There we go. Bottle of water. Don't mind me. 
deconstruct that. The problem is I'm going to start getting thirsty too, and there's not enough water to go between all of us. Oh, it's another one of these, like, fusion reactor things. Maybe I just put the pink rock in that? I have a little oxygen capsule. Let's hit that real quick. Do I put one of those pink rocks in here? Just, like, right here and then try to turn it on? I, I, I don't know how it works. We could try that in the future. Look at that. Blueprint microchip and a computer. This morning on our 17th day of travel in the Stigmar, the ship inexplicably ex exited hyperspace velocity navigation tools went crazy and the ship lost power. We're going to try an emergency landing on the unreporting plan. I'm not sure what we'll find. Well, it didn't go well because they definitely crashed. But I got two water bottles. Like I said, I do kind of need to drink one right now. And there's another one. Ask a new chant to achieve. There you go. Grabbed it. And let's blow this popsicle stand and see what is uh, going to happen. Oh my god, my worst nightmare. We're good. I just guessed and we're good. Oh, what in the hell is this? No. Are you kidding me? Right here? Right here. The whole time? The whole time? No. This had to have been frozen or blocked or something. There is no way that this has been here the entire time. You can't, you can't convince me. What the heck? It's starting to turn red and foggy. That's going to go into the depths. They really like to hide crap every which way in this world. Like, I think a meteor hit up here as well, and that's why there's a bunch of uranium. I don't think that's wild-caught uranium. I think that's, uh, that's farmed. Oh, yeah, that's definitely farmed. We can come grab that later. And look at my pond! Look at it. I'm gonna have to drink one of these wotas, but we're gonna use the other two to make the nuclear reactor so we can get the bio lab going, and I want to start putting algae and stuff in here while it's young, you know? While it's still getting going. Head on up and grab this to your nuclear reactor. Slap that right there. That gives us a whole bunch of inventory for doing this. A big old bio lab. Boop. There it is. I'd like to put just like a door here because I'm probably going to come in and out on this side just as much as I am on the other side. And then what does this allow us to do here? <gasps> this is exactly what we were looking for. Mutagens, bacteria samples, bioplastic. I haven't found mushrooms yet. Hmm. Fertilizer using algae, tier two fertilizer, and blasting, or explosive powder, that is. I can make that thing now. I can make the, I can literally do the next nuclear reactor now because I, I can make explosive powder. And let's go check what that microchip unlocks, out of curiosity. Boop! Tier 3 GPS satellite. Oh my god. It's time to start blooming some algae. So we go right here, and we see we have Biolab. And we also unlocked this Tier 1 algae generator, which means we need to start growing eggplant emojis. And we can also... I think I found a fertilizer, right? Wasn't I talking about how oh, I've never seen that before? We can also do flower spreaders and stuff, which would be really cool, but I want to focus on this. So let's make some eggplants. And that's going to be done with a food grower using water. we got to check our water collector. Hello, water collector. You are cooking. Okay, keep it up, man. Good boy. Then we go down here. We get the food growers going. I'm thinking we just put the food growers in here. This feels like a good food growing environment. I really like that the crafting benches slash rooms in this game can still be used to like place storage and stuff. It's so just nice and intuitive. I guess Subnautica kind of does that too, which is really, really nice. And look at all this. Eggplant time. There we go. Three eggplants. Beautiful. And mushrooms. We were just talking about how we need mushrooms. So let's grow some of those too. There we go, pop one of those in, and then growth speed, 30%. So we have to let those go for a little bit, and while we're doing that, we have another thing that was unlocked through the finding of Osmium, which is a uh, little ore collector right here. It says it extracts ores from the ground depending on where it's placed. 
So maybe we just need to like place it around all over the place and we can just get like a whole bunch of excess materials ambiently kind of working for us. It also creates heat and pressure, which is nice, but it does use a lot of energy. So we need a super alloy, aluminum, titanium, and bada bing, bada boom. Yeah, I'm just gonna put it right there and uh, power again, huh? So I found a little piece of ice, right? Which I know it doesn't seem like a lot, but that's a water and then this water. And then with that, a little bit of uranium fusion. There we go. Grab all those. Where is all of our uranium? We need all of it. Make a couple more iridium rods. I need one more piece, which I think I have more chilling over here. Beautiful. Bada bing, bada boom. And the piece de resistance is this new stuff in here. Explosive power, which is yeah, two show for one iridium. There's the iridium. And that's a lot of iridium. And then two sulfur, which I was mining up before into some yummy explosive powder. There we go. Even without power, we're still able to craft. Thank the Lord. And then we shoot up to the roof, and this might be a little too big for the roof. Nope, it fits perfectly. Like a glove. Yes. Look at this thing. Oh my God. I'm glad I have this roof. I should probably make a bigger roof. But also, if we want to optimize here, we could actually break this, break this, break this. And then just slap down another tier three. All we need is a little bit of sulfur. But also, in case you didn't notice, I'm running this whole operation on just that one nuclear reactor. So imagine two nuclear reactors. We're going to have so much power for everything we need to do. Explosive powder acquired. And then we go up to the nuclear water roof. And we slap down another big old puppy. There we go. Two giant green balls powering all of this. What a wonderful thing. And funnily enough, with everything left over from breaking down the smaller nuclear reactors and building a bigger one, we had a bunch of leftover water and some other materials to actually start shooting out some flowers, which we're going to start having pop up. We're getting all the achievements today. Flower time. And what is the ore extractor doing? Oh, titanium. Starting to see some sprouts of the flowers already. I have a couple of really good rare flowers as well. Let me double check everything that I can input into these side guys. They're kind of like just over here cooking, doing their job. We're having another meteor shower? Really? Another one? There's just been a lot of meteor showers. I think we made the atmosphere a little unruly. But I do enjoy free materials. I need a little bit of water. Ugh. Let me go all the way up here. Scoop one, drink one. How convenient. And I didn't put my metal cock anywhere yet. We need to do that. Here we go. Boop. There it is. Rock chip on the table. I want to go to like another ship that I haven't been in before. And I remember seeing one. God, was it somewhere in this region? And I think I found a structure like right here. I need a little bit of titanium again, and a little bit of silicone just for a forward operating base. And let's go, man. Let's enjoy this really good weather we've been having. Maybe we'll see some other ponds and things on the way. Because uh, I've only really seen my valley. I want to see how everything else is starting to change, too. But I think I see it right off in the distance. See this? Yeah. I never went in there because I had, like, explored a little too far. I had exasperated all my materials. My inventory was full, so it just didn't feel like the right idea to go in. But now feels like a perfect time to do that. And I can set up a little fob out here now. And we can start exploring this area a little deeper as well. Good thing there should be a little piece of iron maybe in here. 
Not in here, but it is made out of iron. Yoink. Board operating base complete, and then uh, we can just go in with what we currently got. It doesn't look like the biggest structure, but it could go, like, into the ground, for all I know. Hello? Oh, this one's dark. Very dark. It's like a... It's almost like a different ship. It doesn't seem like it's made by the same, like, company. Unless it's, like, a more of a, you know, administrative ship or something. It just looks a little more cold. We need a jetpack to go up and over, so I don't think we would have been able to even explore this. Oh my god, we have to break down whole solar panels. Oxygen multiplier fuse. Infert the fuse and optimize the boost performance in nearby machines. Uh huh. Okay, I'm gonna give this the cobalt. That's a pretty common resource. Grab this, 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 and this. I can't see. Why you don't stop cleaning the gun? But well, that's that's different. I don't even know what I would put that in. I don't know what that's used for. Can I break down these satellites? No, I can't. Okay, I was gonna say, I've never broke down a satellite before. There's gonna be some goodies, I bet. Let's go up and over and look. Another chest with a rocket. Water bottles, we do need those. I need water bottles. Like, I'll take water bottles over Iridium right now. And then let's check around the corner here. There is... Definitely some more stuff. Deconstruct the tier 3 heater. I will take some extra iridium rods. I mean, that's 9 iridium. Very much worth it. And then we gotta scoot around this corner. What are these, like, guns? Those look like defensive weapons or something. We can go up and in. And find another chest with another water bottle. It's almost like it knows when you're at this point in the game that water is slowly becoming an issue until you can find a way to bottle up your own little ponds and lakes. Because they've been handing a lot of it to me. Or it's just one of those instances that I'm looking for it, so then I, I, it seems like there's a lot more of it because I'm actually looking for it. Looks like we pretty much cleared it all out. It was a lot of like pretty advanced resources and rocket parts, and of course those microchips are super important as well. Home, sweet home. Uh, yep, we're gonna hit those two blueprints right off the bat. See what we unlock with that. Use the water, our newfound water. I should grab this too, because when it's full, it won't keep producing water. Go ahead and do one, and we got tier three jetpack. Ooh. And tier two deconstruction. Yes, I've been waiting for that. I'm just gonna put this oxygen thing away. I don't really know what it does yet. And I need to make a whole bunch of food growing tubes, which I'm just gonna keep kind of lining up in here. So that way we can just kind of walk a circle and grab them all as they grow. Holy bejesus, is this guy ready? Look at that thing. That's a juicy ass eggplant. These all look so delicious. I didn't even notice how big those were getting. Oh my God. We're getting a lot of these food growers down though and I'm just gonna really start planting. This is gonna help with uh, the uh, biomass production. A whole little farm here. Squash seeds, more beans and other fruits and vegetables. And then we need to keep our eye out for some new fruits and vegetables, but, like, I haven't seen any recipes that require new fruits and vegetables yet. You grab a little bit of water out of this guy. Maybe a second water collector might actually be worth it. Um, unless there's a way maybe we can start pumping up water in the future, just, like, out of the lakes and ponds. But this should just about do it, I believe, on the food. Yeah, I'm even out of iron now, right? Isn't that crazy? The one resource that you feel like you have a whole bunch of until you don't. But it does look like I need to grab some more squash seeds, uh, because there's a recipe for squash eggplant, and then of course the bioplastic uses mushrooms, and then we need to start growing algae, which is why, in the first place, I was growing an eggplant, because we also need that for the algae collector itself. 
But this eggplant is ready to go. We grab it and then it's going to regrow. So as long as we're kind of here to grab everything as it finishes, everything should be good. I didn't put a seed in here yet. Uh, more bean, sure. And now with this eggplant, I just need that bioplastic nugget that I found. Where is that? There would I be if I was a nugget. There I am. Wait a second. A whole hidden stash of eggplants. Let me take the beans out of here. I'm gonna take the squash out of here. The beans out of here. Yeah, get all of the eggplants going. Sorry, I got distracted. Let's just check if our water grower up here has some water. It does. And now we can go down to this pond. And I'm just going to place it on the edge. We're probably going to have to move it in the future. It does float, I guess. Yeah, look at that. See? Boop. There we go. And that's going to start spawning algae. And I guess we're going to be able to grab the algae? Or maybe create, like, scoop samples of it? Look, it's starting to fart out all that algae. And it's going to start blooming down here. And that does increase our biomass generation, and like I said, I'm hoping that I'll be able to scoop some of it, because a lot of this new stuff requires vials of algae. And look at this guy, he's been cooking. Should probably set up a whole bunch of those, but the power consumption is quite sturdy. Flowers are starting to come in. Uh, it might be a little bit longer, but they're right there. They're getting ready. They're gonna pop up soon. Our biomass creation's at 10 now. Hell yeah. I wonder if the biomass actually, like, counts towards the terraformation process, like, stronger because the number's lower, but I bet it's gonna start spiking in the future, right? But I want to put a locker down in here that's specifically just for stacking food, so that way we know where to look for it, so we don't have another mishap with the seeds. With that being said, that's where I'm going to end today's episode. We're about 25% of the way to lakes. I think what I'm going to have to end up doing is probably just creating a lot more drills and just like a lot more, uh, uh yeah, a lot more drills, essentially. Maybe another biodome. Like, we need to start pumping a little bit more oxygen. These guys aren't really going. Maybe just making more of these and having them go even crazier. And maybe organizing it a little bit, because I've been told by the comments that this can kind of start to, uh, flood up. And you don't want that, because your base can be underwater quicker than you can say... Uh, oh, I can't think of a word. But yeah, thank you guys for hanging out today. Definitely check out the playlist link out in the description down below. I'm definitely just gonna play this game to the end. It's extremely fun. I can't stop playing it. Hopefully you see you in the next one. Adios.